what is up guys welcome back to 25 high it's a beautiful day today the weather is gorgeous it's uh it hasn't even got like hot today and i think it's going to be in the 50s tonight so just insane awesome weather but uh what i want to talk about i have thought about this for a while and just haven't done it um i want to start like a like a cooking series of some kind we might start like a two different ones basically or just leave it as this one i don't know yet but the premise of the show or at least the the bits the starting premise of the of this little series of videos uh is going to be like camp cooking like we we're starting to get more into traveling and cooking uh or traveling and hunting and that often comes with cooking on what some might consider less than desirable uh cookware so my little cook setup that i've got for my little truck camping setup is it's a cheap i think it's like a 30 dollar propane camp stove and i have uh i have two cast iron skillets they're just the cheap lodge cast irons from walmart uh they probably don't look the best right now because they've been on boats this summer they've been on trips they've been on you know it's been used but uh it's what it's they're well seasoned pans and it's a it's a well seasoned little grill but uh, i want to cook mostly on that maybe on some stuff that like the the little grills that are at every campsite or most campsite we might cook some stuff there but i want to show you guys how easy and fun and how good it can be to uh to cook like cheap meals and experiment a little bit with wild game and sometimes we may cook something that isn't wild game we're just going to kind of have fun with it uh but the the goal is to show you guys how uh you can be kind of adventurous with uh, with some of your food choices and some of your uh some of your ideas of what you might want to cook and it's really not going to be that difficult it's not going to be crazy expensive and hopefully it'll turn out pretty good uh so the other day my buddy invited me travis you've seen him on the turkey hunt the mississippi turkey hunt you've seen him before he invited me on a dove shoot and it turned out it was way better than anybody expected and the, we had a pretty good group ended up knocking down 95 total and uh what's crazy is that was only like half the limit for the amount of guys that were out there and and it was only about a six of the birds we saw I mean, it was it was an awesome dove shoot. Really appreciate the invite and appreciate being able to go out there and do it. I was actually lucky enough to knock down five, and I like I'm terrible at shooting uh, anything flying, <laughs> so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna. I've, I've got a recipe cooking up in my mind. I really want to try it. So that's what the goal of today is: is we're gonna try this pretty unique dove rest dove popper recipe. And the only ingredient I'm missing is, uh, what's it called? Cream cheese. Alrighty, folks. So here's the setup, kind of. We got the old crusty camp stove and our cast iron, well seasoned, and everything all set up. And here's our ingredients for the day. The prize of the show, obviously, dove breasts. I got quite a few in there. I got some, just some simple green peppers bacon and the secret and two secret ingredients three secret ingredients got some habanero uh, habaneros soy sauce and honey so i'm sure you can see where i'm going with this but basically i'm just going to go ahead and get everything pretty well prepared and then we'll throw it on the grill I gotta remember not to touch my eyes while I'm doing this. I 
Alright. Alright, so my hands are a little, bit, a little bit nasty, but I think you get the gist. I'm just getting like a chunk that's about right for about the same size as the as the dove breast and then a little sliver of ha of habanero I'm putting it on there I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on these before I put them on the grill and then mix up the other stuff and kind of baste it on there about the time the uh, the baking starts getting crispy Realized I forgot a plate or a bowl or anything, so I'm going to use the bottom of this uh, cup or bottle right here to mix me up. Well, I will in a second use this cup right here to bottle thing to cook up some sauce. Well, they're not cooking as evenly as I was expecting. You see, some of them are a little black, but I turned down the heat and I added a, added that soy habanero stuff. I'm gonna give it just a little bit longer. Maybe I need, probably need to just flip them more, and they should be good. All right. Well, I hope you like my wonderful plate here. Um, I think we're gonna start off with the smallest one, just in case. As you as you probably saw, some of them got a little crispy. I'm a little nervous because habaneros are pretty hot, but I think it should be all right. Cheers. Well, maybe I should let them rest for a second. I don't know if I can let it rest. There's definitely going to be some spice in this. I can tell. I just hope it's not too overbearing. Overpowering. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> spice isn't too much. Bacon's like just starting to get crispy. Um, definitely needs a little more honey, and it could definitely use some uh, cream cheese. Be a little bit more traditional, kill that spice down a little bit. But as far as the spice, very manageable. I mean, it, it's probably honestly less spicy than jalapeno poppers when you slightly undercook the jalapenos, which kind of how I like them. Um, let's go for another one. Well, first off, I'm going to bite this one in half instead of the whole thing. Okay. Look at that cross section. <clears throat> I think I got the entire habanero on that one. <coughs> Still pretty good. It just got caught in the wrong spot, but you can tell that dough's not overcooked at all. Peppers could have gone just a hair longer, maybe. But, man, that's good. That one was a little spicy. Still very good, though. I might need to go with slightly smaller habanero slices and a little bit more honey next time. But, that's still very good. Very good. Junction. Wow. Which is a hundred miles away, by the way. Uh, and I know they had a lot of pictures in there. They had a lot of pictures in there from the Delta hunts. You know? Oh, that's so what you were saying. So you can still draw a tag to hunt those bison. Yeah. All right, guys. I needed to take this. I need, had to take a second to recover. Uh, <laughs> I put a little bit too much habanero on some of those. It was good. It just it'll get you um i'm honestly not a huge fan of like super spicy stuff i like stuff with just a little bit of kick and that was there was about four of them that had 
like the perfect amount of kick and then a couple more that were like a punch in the mouth but I still ate them all so <laughs> they were good and just like I said just a little bit too much they definitely needed some cream cheese I'll say that much but uh it's getting dark um I may cook up another batch but it's not gonna it's not gonna be light enough to uh film so I may actually save these because in what's today T today's Tuesday by the time you'll see this uh the next day after I post it I'll be leaving to go on a trip a little short trip <clears throat> um there's some parts of Alabama that open up a little early now and me and a buddy are going to hopefully take advantage of that and hopefully get our first deer on the ground of the year um so I got that going uh I may save these for that but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed uh this is kind of something new we're trying uh we've talked about doing some starting getting into the because me and Cade both love cooking I'm pretty sure Kurt does too uh we've we've talked about getting more into like the cooking scene share some of our experiments share some of our uh tried and true recipes like i've got one that i found out this summer that i cannot wait to share with you guys but sadly i don't i think it'll have it's a seasonal thing it's a very very seasonal thing so i think it'll have to wait till next year but uh ooh, there's a squirrel I'm talking about seasonal <laughs> it's squirrel season anyway um <clears throat> there's what was i saying Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're, we're trying to do more of this, more of this style of video. And uh, hopefully you guys will find it enjoyable, relatable, and it gives you a little bit of inspiration to just think outside the box, try something new. Uh, sometimes it'll be really good. Like today, honestly, probably wasn't my best meal, but that doesn't mean it wasn't good. Doesn't mean I wouldn't try it again. I mean, it was very good, but I've, I've cooked some pretty good stuff that was better. But anyway, um, like I say, this whole this whole premise of this series or whatever we're going to call this is just to show you guys it's not that difficult and it doesn't cost that much to uh, try something new with wild game. And if nothing else, it's out of your freezer. I mean, that's one of the biggest problems is people fill up the freezer and then it takes them years to uh to go through everything i'm i'm guilty of that i have been so hopefully it'll just you guys will just be like hey maybe i need to get some of that deer meat or some of that duck or whatever it is out of the freezer and try what he tried or try something completely out of the ordinary and if you come up with something that's really good drop a comment below we will be sure to try it but uh anyways that's it for i think i'm gonna call this deer camp dinners <laughs> that's it for today I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and always remember to live life twenty. Always remember to live life twenty-five high, and we will see you this weekend, or I'll see you this weekend. Y'all won't see me for a little while. In the woods, hunting season is finally here. Y'all stay tuned. Bye.